In 2002, a new coronavirus was detected in the human population in China, causing an epidemic of severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS. We know that SARS-CoV, the virus that caused this, came from bats to humans through infected civet cats in animal markets. This is known as a spillover event. 17 years later, a relative of that virus, SARS-CoV-2, has crossed to humans, resulting in the COVID-19 pandemic. We use reconstructions of evolutionary history to understand the origin of the new coronavirus. This is important to help us assess the risk of future spillover events. To examine how coronaviruses are related, we look at their genome sequence, made up of RNA. As the virus replicates, small changes occur naturally in this RNA sequence. These are known as mutations and are responsible for creating variants. Most of these mutations don't change virus properties, but some will give rise to viruses with altered functions or immune evasion capabilities. When we say that two viruses are evolutionarily related, we mean that they shared a common ancestor. Evolutionary relationships are represented using phylogenetic trees. They help us to visualize shared common ancestors with branches representing the amount of genetic change between the different related viruses. The more mutations between two RNA sequences, the longer the length of time since that shared ancestor. Sometimes a host cell is infected with different types of coronavirus at the same time. When this happens, coronaviruses can swap pieces of their genetic sequence to create a recombinant virus. This makes it more challenging to work out evolutionary relationships since looking at the whole genome sequence of these recombinant viruses will not represent the history of a single virus. To overcome this, we look for the recombinant parts of the RNA sequence and separate them out to make different phylogenetic trees for each region of the genome. This computer-based analysis helps us to build up a more detailed picture of these viruses' past relationships and origins. By doing this, we know that the closest relatives of SARS-CoV-2 to date have been sampled in horseshoe bats in the south of China and Southeast Asia. Related viruses have also been found in East China. Converting the lengths of the branches to time shows us that the closest known bat viruses shared a common ancestor with SARS-CoV-2 over 40 years ago. The results show that while we have only found a very small number of the coronaviruses related to SARS-CoV-2, its direct ancestor was in a horseshoe bat species or an intermediate mammal species linked to them. We need to carry on searching and sampling to give us a clearer picture of where these infected species are and find the viruses they are infected with. This knowledge will help us to understand more about these viruses and how likely they are to pose a threat in the future.